Hello everybody, this is King Tut here, and welcome to another dive-in video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys PureTube. So, if you guys don't know what PureTube is, um, PureTube is basically the federated version of YouTube. Uh, basically, so, as I went over with Mastodon, um, I put it in... I, I upload the video on Odyssey, so look for that. I'll soon upload all the videos that were on Odyssey onto YouTube. Um, it's just going to be probably later on. So, so PureTube is basically a federated version of YouTube. And like Mastodon, um, PureTube uses ActivityPub. Activity Pub. It, it's it's basically you have like different servers and these different different servers that was set up. They're called instances. So, PeerTube uh basically uh does that has that kind of functionality. You could actually set up your own instance, get your own like domain name and everything. Ser your make your own server, and basically house everybody. Uh, allow. Hello, uh, like uh wait. And hope for people to make an account at your instance so if you have noticed you have what it's called discover and local videos so local videos are basically videos uh that is um that's uploaded in this instance in the instance that you're on discover is basically the videos that is uploaded in the instance you're on plus the other federated instance. So what I mean by federated instance instance is um, so they're not just set up and uh, controlled independently. They're all interconnected, interwoven. So you could basically look at videos from other instances as well when you click on discover. So that's basically what it is. So I actually uh, logged into my King Tut account and you you get these but let's just go to um, PureTube let's go to like so if you want to look for instances this is a site to go to join PureTube is the official PureTube website you can go to home let's let's go to home it's it's gonna so if you if you go to join peertube.org you basically get this page and then you basically search for videos and channels and then basically the content selection different channels like tech lore and um, an instance for blender which is that's I, I found that to be amazing like having it's it's a really good idea to have like um, an instance dedicated to a software like Blender. And yes, don't, if, if you guys are wondering if I want to review Blender, I'll do it probably way, way down the line in the future. Probably, but not now. Um, but Blender is a really good piece of software. I'd, I'd recommend anyone to use it. Very good 3D software. It's even open source, so you could actually download it for free. TechLore um, is a channel that uh, basically talks about privacy and like data security and basically mostly it's mostly tech stuff. They also talk about like different alternatives to to like the main main thing like uh, alternative to YouTube, alternative to Twitter, so on and so forth. And then I don't know what this is to be honest. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I, I don't know what this video is, but it, it seems like it's the selection this uh video selection for peer tube so let's and you could go to like what is peer tube to learn more about peer tube you could go to the news to see to get up to date on how peer tube is doing which like two days ago version 3.4 is actually out which is amazing so basically you have Filters on every peer to page. Um, let's switch. They they have they have improved filter feature.
Um, let's look at what's the what else is new. Subscribe to it as an instance to a channel or an account. So what does that even mean? Let's. Let's see. So you could actually account handle per line. So you could follow more than one instance, I guess, or as many other instances. I don't really understand that. I'm kind of lost. Instance to create your own federation bubble. Oh, just so you know, um, with every dive in video, I'm gonna be all over the place. I'm gonna be learning as I go. I'm I'm basically exploring, and I'm also reviewing at, at the same time. So some software, I'm gonna be that, that I might be familiar with, and other software I'm not so much. Also, um, there are gonna be some jargons, and I'm gonna be like, telling you what these jargons are or basically terminology on the fly while I'm doing it. So these are things that are not on like a typical on, on any tutorial videos that I've uploaded. So it's going to be on the dive in. So you don't have to know about anything. Um, or if you want to learn, learn. So it, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to like basically uh, talk about these terminology and like tell you what it is on, on the fly. All right, so with that out of the way, let's continue reviewing and exploring PureTube. So you can federate your instance with others to create your own federation bubble. With 3.4, you could follow an account or a channel without necessary federating with the instance that hosts it. Isn't that what basically, what, isn't that the features that it always has? I'm lost. Go to administration menu, federation tab, following selection, the list of instances you wish your instance has subscribed appears. So you can subscribe to other instance, but you want to like show different like videos from other instance that you follow. Add channels or account handles, then users. Oh. Kind of lost. Um, let me know in the comments below what it is filter video search of an instance so you could actually filter see so you could filter search result based off of instances that's pretty cool that's that, that's actually necessary that's um i don't know about mastodon i don't think mastodon has any of that features i wish uh people could um if they were to look at global part which is uh which is basically looking at toots from not only your instance, from your instance, but other instances that was federated. I wish uh, people would have the option to like filter out instances, like the users itself, not just the administrator. The user could filter out different instances that they're not comfortable seeing. That would have been, that would have been a good, um, how you call it? That, that would have been a good option. So, so that way they don't end up like jumping from one instance to one another instance. So that way, like an instance that doesn't like federate with things that you're not comfortable with or so on, like so on and so forth, even like loot stuff and all that things that you're not comfortable with. Um, the user should have the power to basically filter out that instance. Not just the administrator. I mean, the administrator could block other instances, which makes all the users not see other that instances. But also the user should also have that power to to block instances that they themselves don't like.
So that's that's a really good feature. So basically, you use now you have the possibility to filter videos by indicating a specific instance you wish to limit your search. So it's only for search. It's not filtering out instances that you're not comfortable with. You're basically like if you want to search something and you wanted to search it in a certain instance. Uh, you do that that it's possible actually So how do you do that actually Enter your instance URL you want to search on peer to Instance host field you'll see videos on permaculture available on this instance So as in oh, okay this part I wish they would actually like I wish they would actually point to which one. That would have been awesome. Vidiverse. Nice. That's that's awesome. That's way better than half of the features YouTube puts out. Which they're not bad. And half of the um, events that YouTube does. One of them. Rewind. <laughs> hint, hint. Rewind. Yeah, Vidiverse is so much better than just basically... YouTube rewind or any any of the yeah basically rewind I mean I mean who 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 actually likes the recent rewinds I mean it's just not that great I know some some people who likes rewinds are gonna are gonna comment but I don't think anyone's gonna comment I I highly doubt that but yeah vidiverse that's that's like that's the best thing ever so much better Makes me like PeerTube so much, even though I'm not going to even, mm, I don't know. Okay, so video player update. Now it detects and remembers the bandwidth. The previously the player used the medium quality by default and you could have noticed a quality change after a few seconds. If you had a good network connection, now the player automatically the player you mean the content content creator or is it oh the or is it the user that looks at the video and it could have been the user that looks at the video i think they're not the player the player when they talk about player it makes me think of video games i i think they need to like reward this i mean yeah i i think peer tube needs to have like a like a Need to improve on the on the on the wording, not the messaging. The wording, and, and documentation. Now that's just that's just my feedback. Um, if they don't want to take my feedback, go right ahead. It's it's their it's their piece of federated software. And it fights the last pen with and chooses the most suitable resolution. If you still want to change the resolution, changes immediate. Oh, okay, so it's it's basically like no it takes and remembers your bandwidth. So it just realizes your bandwidth and it just adjusts the quality of the video. That's pretty much it. YouTube 3.4 natively supports saving files in object storage systems. Saving video files in object storage. What is that? Oh, like a, like on a cloud, I guess. I think it's on the cloud. The administrators to host their videos of their instance on this on-demand storage system. Thus, administrators will no longer have to worry about the storage size of their server. We're still trying to uh, identify performance issues, yada, yada, yada. Okay. New version, you can read the whole list. Oh boy. So I'm just gonna go read the whole list. Then probably I'm gonna, or maybe. Okay, so these are the features. If you wanna check it out, go ahead, check it out. I'm not gonna even go over so let's get into the let's get into the nitty-gritty of it so you can actually publish 
And here's the cool thing here. You can either upload a file or import it with a URL. Pretty cool. It doesn't matter which URL. Uh, it could be from YouTube or Odyssey. Let's now that I think about it, let's 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 try it with Odyssey. No, Ad. Now speaking of Odyssey, they seem to they have improved the UI and moderation and user moderation feature. That way, there's no trolls. <laughs> Total video quota and there's unlimited. So some peer tube, um, peer tube instances, they're gonna have a limited amount, and the reason why is basically their server isn't set up to be unlimited. So don't don't take that personally or don't be angry if that instance has a limited amount of um, limited amount of bytes. That you could upload limited about amount of space you could actually upload for your channel um i mean i, I don't blame them and they're setting up the server and they have they have um uh, like taking care of maintaining the server is is a pretty pretty what pretty tough okay so okay let's go to channel don't be slow on me. There you go. So I have created an account on an instance called diode.zone. So if you're on there and you're watching my video, please uh, like and subscribe. Or do they do subscribe or do they do follow? Oh, let's go to video. Oh, okay, let's let's go to public profile. I guess subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. I think they do. So like and subscribe or upvote it or and subscribe. Let me just go to let me go to a local video. And then let's go to let's just go to a random random video. Hopefully PeerTube doesn't like take down my channel. I don't think it's copyright. I'm just getting I'm just showing a video, that's all. And some instances have support. Um so if I were to click on support. And then you could only do it using Libra Pay, which Libra Pay is basically like Patreon, but it's like alternative to Patreon. So, so okay, so they they do have subscribe. So if you really like a video, so if you actually like my video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe on my channel if you're on diode.zone. Um, I'm going to be uploading most of the video from YouTube and Odyssey over there. Um, I just don't know when I'm going to be finished. But don't worry, it's it's going to be it's going to be all over there soon. Sooner or later. So you could actually subscribe with your local amount account or you could subscribe with your remote account. So you could actually do it from Mastodon, you could actually do it from Pleroma, Friendica, whatever. So it's not just limited to subscribing using your PeerTube instance. You could also subscribe using your Mastodon instance, which is pretty cool. But I wish you could do it from while you're on Mastodon, not while you're on PeerTube. It's just... Okay, now that I think about it, I don't know. I actually don't know. I but I <clears throat> I actually don't know. I think this is just fine. You could also subscribe via RSS, which 
which RSS is pretty much the more secure. Um, and it's, I think, censorship resistance. I think right now they have RSS 3. I don't know what the difference between RSS 3 and RSS 2. Okay, so let's just... Um, I'm going to try out Odyssey that way to see if it actually works. So I'm just waiting for most of my videos to load. So let's say I want to publish. So I'm going to get back to that video later. The reason for this is I'm going to show you the functionality of the video. Paste. And then click on import. And then it should get you all the title and description. And it's going to take some time. Yep, it gets you to tags. It doesn't really get you the category um, because on Odyssey, they don't do category, which um, that that's one of my critique on uh, Odyssey. I wish they would allow people to do category, but I kind of understand the fact that people are going to put it in the wrong category. So I, I wish I wish they would actually think about it at least. I don't know. So let's let's put it under education. And then they have all the things they have. And then I just click on update. And then success. Your video is uploaded. Wait, what's this video that was deleted? Hold on. I think it could have been what I was like C plus plus. Yeah, I was actually finagling around. So I've uploaded C plus plus with develop one through four. So if you're interested, you check it out. Oh, okay. It wasn't a video, it's just my whole channel. That was so weird. That was so weird. Anyway. So basically, it lists out your imports. It lists out your playlist. You have watch later, which that I never, I never seen that on PeerTube. Um, you can actually create another playlist. You can actually put in a playlist thumbnail which is amazing so let's create that let's close this before screen melts down and then you get a notification letting you know that your video has been imported and everything. I think it should show up on your video. Yep, it should show up on your video. Yep, it, it showed up on your video. It's public. It says to transcode. Um, so it's basically transcoding, doing the whole like, um, the video quality and all that. It's gonna be published sooner or later. Let's see what I have. Oh, so I haven't subscribed to anyone. You could also, so as I said, discover, it's not only you're looking at videos from your instance, you're also looking at videos of other instance that it was federated with this instance. So you have like main rooted channel. Wait, what? You have travel channel, you have 
this channel, you have this. I mean, I, I don't care about it. This is why I escape from YouTube and go to other alternative. I just don't want to look at these kind of, I don't want to look at news and politics. There are people out there that just want to live under a rock. I thought new diode.zone is an educational place. Might be wrong. Isopod. What is that? Then there's music. And then there's like extra contact with Tucko and Scanline. Sean Tiley. Don't know who he is. Imagine they have like a Spider-Man, like spy, like a dedicated Spider-Man instance. It says Spider-Man into the Pettyverse. Oh god, that would be awesome. Or not. Whatever. Legends channel. Oh, okay, they have like Arduinos and stuff, electronics. That's pretty good. They have art, art section. Most of it is in all of it is in German. Wein glass, Spaß in kindergarten, video, binary tubes. Hopefully that's a right pronunciation. Um, I've, I've taken German class, so. And there's other videos that are like, which of which it's title, it's in different language, like Spanish, uh, French, even Russian. Which is interesting. It's also Arabic as well. So, so it kind of panders to different uh, people who speak different languages, which is cool. And it, it, it makes it makes this whole thing pretty inclusive. You have, yeah, this is Russian. And I think this is all, this is German, I guess. This is German. So it's, and I guess this is, I I I, I don't know the language. I, I, it's either like Spanish or French. Mathematicas, basicas. I think that might be Spanish. I might I, because. French is not this. It's, it doesn't usually have. It doesn't doesn't look like that. I I don't know. I don't know. Oof. And people section, I guess. New video coming soon. That's pretty cool. That's that's really really cool. Oh, I guess they do review on different vi on different software. That's pretty cool, I guess. Don't get me wrong, I I don't know how to read this. So, if anyone knows what these are, let me know in the comments section. Um, they have these kind of things. They have, oh wow, they have like mechanical things. That's really cool. Food. Anime. These don't even have anything to do with anime. Even how to. Virtual reality, saving coin, savings coin. Like crypto stuff, vehicles. Let's let's scroll down. Let's see if they actually have it. Okay, they have an end. And there's a blender developers. Oh, so there's ones that are from different instances. Okay, so that's okay. That's my only critique here is. Wait, what's recently added? Okay, so I put this one today. Scope federated, blurred, more filter. Um, not all categories. 
What if I want to look at science and technology? Eh. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So, let's... Let's go to here. If I wanted to like, I could just click on right here. And at first, like the early stages, peer tube is, you basically have to like hit your head on the wall repeatedly before, uh, <laughs> before you literally watch the whole video. Seems like, well, because it's 25 seconds, so this doesn't, this video doesn't count. Also, if you really like the channel, this channel, you could actually subscribe either with a, with different instance, what, like whatever, whatever different like social media platforms you go to or whatever instance, doesn't matter. Or with your local account. So I'm just going to click on with my local account and... And it's going to be over here. It's going to be on the under subscriptions section. I wish it would put, I wish they would actually put categories right here, like list of categories they have instead of like doing it, filtering it through. They show like, I think the internet download. So usually when you open a web page, your web page gets downloaded. It's like the total from servers from peers, from servers from peers, total uploaded. And then this one is uploaded. I guess what they meant is like comments and stuff like that. I might be wrong. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm promoting you Linux in a bit. So if anyone wants to, if anyone is interested in the channel, go ahead, look at their videos. If you like it, like, and subscribe to their channel. Then they have like, so these are the volumes. So you could actually like turn it down to zero, turn it up to a hundred. And then you have like speed and quality. It doesn't really show up the quality. It really depends on different videos, but there are videos that show different qualities and let's see if you when you play uh just so you know i've muted it so it, i actually Let's just make it lower. Let's 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 go back. Yeah, GIMP, in my opinion, GIMP is a, it's an alternative to Photoshop, but so does Krita. Krita, Krita is more like Illustrator, but it also has like some Photoshop features. Um, my, in my opinion, I'm, I'm not a GIMP user. I'm not into, I, I, just the functionality just makes me not like GIMP. Sorry. But hey, if you want to try out GIMP, go ahead. So they have like, oh, they have like seconds, like very small bit video, like that would all constitute under a YouTube shorts. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, they don't No, It doesn't have a YouTube channel. So it's like all Odyssey and here to original oh no they have a youtube whoops my bad
and let's look at their YouTube channel. So if you're if you're on YouTube and you look at these videos, be sure to like and subscribe, or just subscribe to their videos. It has 107 subscribers, so do us a favor and please subscribe to their video, to Linux in a Bit video. It's a very small YouTube channel, so just promoting it on the fly. Let's see what's the history. It shows you your history activity, your watch history. Um, you can actually turn it off. I don't I don't like history being tracked. I mean I mean I don't it's not that helpful. You could also delete history. Um, what else? So let's go back to the uh, join PeerTube website. And I'm pretty sure they have, so I'm going to be showing you like the instance list. You could also look at, look up uh, PeerTube videos. Let's just, it's put King Tut. Um, I guess a lot of pop-ups. Oh, they use sepia search. I never heard. Is it sepia search? Yeah, I think it's like built in for um built in for peer tube. Yeah, so when I put King Tut, this video came out first. So if you really want to like or let's let's look up C. Let's look up C videos. They look they show C sharp, which is that's that's unfortunate. But you have to literally scroll down and you look at C++ videos or running C. Um, so C sharp, very, the thumbnail looks really good. And I actually like, like, I actually like, different like videos on different concepts of C sharp on different syntax. If you look at, if you go to YouTube and look up C sharp, I mean, there's going to be some videos. Don't get me wrong, but you're going to have other channels that are putting out an hour long C sharp tutorial. Like who's going to literally sit, sit on this. You literally, it's just basically watching a movie. Oh God, unless, unless that person is, uh, unless you're doing like a, like a let's code kind of video live stream, there should be no reason to watch, to watch an hour long tutorial covering all the concepts. Just anyway, it has a download page. Which that's pretty cool. And you can download it different different aspect ratio. Or let's see what let's see what happened when you go advanced. I guess it doesn't have any. Also, you could actually copy it. Copy the link. And I guess you could paste and go. It's gonna show you on the window uh whether you want to save it or open it. That's pretty cool. Um, you could actually autoplay. So instead of like having this, every time you look at a video or click on a video, it just autoplays it right away. And I think they also, they also, um, after the video is done, they go, it just goes to another video right away. I might be wrong. So let's subscribe. Um, Let's do this, public profile, and let's just do this, into learning at diode zone, diode dot zone. So let's, let's remote subscribe. Can I do that? Yes, no. Uh, let's see. Let's 
see if I have any of that on my subscription. Nope. Subscribe with a remote account. That's what I just did. Subscribe to any. So that's uh that's that's the problem. If you like, I click on this and then this shows up behind it. That's just not. So someone needs to fix this. Like if you if you're watching this video, I I request like this should be fixed. And I don't know why it's not. I mean, help share videos. Keyboard shortcuts. So let's look at keyboard. Escape help. Hide this help menu. So so slash s. So these are the shortcuts you're gonna look at. So one last thing I want to show you. It gives you curated lists of videos of instances depending on your taste so let's say i want to go to just science and technology stuart dot stuart brand it's a peer to server it has gaming how to and science and technology let's check that out see if there's any videos i like Um, probably not. And yeah, so you just keep on clicking and find <clears throat> and find different instances that actually like matches your language and um, pretty much and see if you really like it you can make an account there and subscribe to different videos and so on and just spend most of your time in that instance and i think i'm pretty sure they're all curated if not i mean it's just basically the wild wild west <laughs> but i'm pretty sure they're pretty curated Otherwise, they, why would they actually promote this? Um, so you go to help if you need any help or you want to set up your own peer tube server or instance. You could contribute it. You can you could actually help them out or give them donations or give them your feedback. So yeah, I'm giving them my feedback and all that. And I don't know about, oh, so you could go to their GitHub website, check out their code and everything. And you could actually uh, access this website in different languages. Or you could actually do translate, I guess. Yeah, you can translate to whatever language of your choice. Or you could just start a new translation, uh, which that's disabled. Yeah, you see that? Yep. So what do I think? I think PeerTube is pretty good. I feel like it's still in its early stage. And yeah, there's some videos that are like, eh, in questionable videos. But it's not, I don't think it's an echo chamber. Um, there's other videos that have like very educational things. So like C sharp, I want to like, I wouldn't discourage anyone. I, in fact, I would love any, anyone to go on PeerTube and support them and upload context contents there. Um, it would, it would make this, and if you, if you don't, uh, if you're not like uploading content of your choice, like mostly educational or science and what do you call it? Oh boy, science and technology videos or educational videos. Um, 
then at least find one, find any educational science technology videos and and like share it with many people and recommend their channel on YouTube. Okay, I kind of take this back. Probably these ones have, uh, this one has an hour and 50 minutes. That's a lot. So yeah, if you wanted to have a break from YouTube, or you got tired from YouTube and you want to look at videos, whatever videos you want, you want to hop into different instances, well, PeerTube is the way to go. So thank you so much for watching and be sure to like and subscribe. And I will be uploading this video on PeerTube and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.